Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. I hope you all are fine and staying safe and happy. I am your science teacher, Ms. Farheen, and I welcome you all to your science class. My dear students, as you know that we have started chapter number one, characteristics and life processes of organisms. And today I will deliver its first lecture, and this lecture includes characteristics of living things, characteristics of plants and animals. So my dear students, um, let's quickly move forward towards an activity. So quickly look, look at the pictures and then answer these questions. Do plants and animals both can move? Of course, both can move. So now tell me, do plants have also legs like animals? Yani ki agar hum keh ke plants move karte hain, to phir ye kaise move karte hain? Kya inke pas tange hoti hain, jisse ye ek jagah se dusri jagah jaate hain? Ya inke pas haath hoti hain, jinko ye move kar sakte hain? Of course not, plants move when they grow. Uh, they also move with the direction of the sun. So this is how plants move. So that is why we call plants living or living things. So my dear students, uh, in today's lecture, the students will be able to compare and contrast characteristics that distinguish major groups of living things, plants and animals. So my dear students, let's quickly look at the Islamic perspective. Allah is the creator of everything and he has charge over everything. So my dear students, whether these are living things or non-living things that exist around us, the creator of everything is Allah Ta'ala. And you must remember this, okay? That we are the creator of everything, and who is Allah Ta'ala. Hai. So my dear students, let's quickly start the um, lecture with the pre-reading questions. I will ask you questions. You have to answer them. So quickly tell me, do animals eat food? Kya janwar khana khate hai? Yes, animals eat food. Do plants eat food? No, plants do not eat food. So where do they get their food? Okay, we will talk about that. Do plants give birth to new, new one? Yes, plants reproduce. Okay, my dear students, now let's quickly move forward towards the reading. So for reading, quickly open the page uh, uh, in... Unit number one, characteristics of plants and animals. I hope everybody has opened the page. So my dear students, let's start the reading. You will put your fingers where I will read. Characteristics and body features, behaviors or habits that make an organism unique. So characteristics kya hoti hai? Characteristics aise behaviors hoti hai ya habits hoti hai? जो एक ऑर्गेनिज्म को यूनिक बनाती हैं या डिफरेंट करती हैं, ठीक है? For example, I have different behaviors and habits, so that makes me unique from you. आपकी कोई और हैबिट्स हैं, कोई और लाइक्स एंड डिसलाइक्स हैं, तो आप मुझसे डिफरेंट हैं. So these are our characteristics. इसी तरह प्लांट्स और एनिमल्स की भी कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स होती हैं. So let's again read it. The study of such characteristics provides the foundation to identify different groups of living organisms and their classification. Such differences in characteristics made this world biologically diverse. So my dear students, if we study characteristics, we know that how the living things are different from each other. और इनी differences की वजह से जो है वो पूरी दुनिया के जो living things हैं वो diverse हैं और biodiversity जो है यानि कि life की जो differences हैं वो exist करते हैं इस दुनिया में bio means life so my dear students now let's start the topic characteristics of plants and animals read it with me characteristics of plants and animals plants and animals are two major groups of living things both need food air water etc. to survive. Both have the following basic characteristics of life. Movement, feed, excretion, growth, reproduction, respiration, sense and respond. So my dear students, living uh, organisms, jo hai, plants and animals, dono ke paas jo hai, wo ye tamam characteristics hai. But ये characteristics जो हैं दोनों के अंदर मुख्तलिफ तरीके से वो perform करते हैं ये habits जो हैं ये उनके अंदर थोड़ी सी different होती हैं but both have movement both need energy both excrete both grow both reproduce both respire and both sense and respond to their surroundings 
so however the expression of these characteristics is different so this is what i was saying ke inko express karne ka jo tarika hai wo different hai among the members of both groups let's talk take a look at some of these characteristics so my dear students uh, jo characteristics hai living organisms ke ya living things ke wo hai movement growth respiration eat and feed reproduction sense and respond and excretion so these are the different characteristics of living things plants may be or animals may be so my dear students now let's um, look at the characteristics plants and animals both have movement in them uh plant animals can move they run uh, they can jump whereas plants they can move their leaves they can move with the sunlight they can grow so this is how plants move next is uh, growth so both plants and animals they grow uh, you can see the animal they show growth and similarly the plants they also grow so my dear students next is respiration so both need air Uh, यानी कि सांस लेने के लिए दोनों को हवा की जरूरत होती है प्लांट्स को भी और एनिमल्स को भी प्लांट्स नीड कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड वेयर एज एनिमल्स नीड ऑक्सीजन फॉर रेस्पिरेशन नेक्स्ट इज ईट एंड फीड बोथ नीड एनर्जी टू ग्रो टू वर्क एंड टू स्टे अलाइव सो प्लांट्स ईट सो एनिमल्स ईट डिफरेंट प्लांट्स एंड एनिमल्स वेयर एज प्लांट्स मेक देयर ओन फूड विद द प्रोसेस ऑफ फोटोसेंथिस यानी कि प्लांट्स जो हैं वो खाना नहीं खाते बल्कि वो अपना खाना अपने अंदर खुद ही प्रिपेयर कर लेते हैं एक प्रोसेस के थ्रू विच इज कॉल्ड फोटोसेंथिस एंड नेक्स्ट इज दे रिप्रोड्यूस यानी कि बोथ हैव बेबीज प्लांट्स के भी जो हैं वो यंग uh, वंस होते हैं यानी कि अपने जैसे छोटे प्लांट्स जो हैं वो बनाते हैं थ्रू सीड्स इसके अलावा uh, जो एनिमल्स हैं उनके भी यंग वंस होते हैं या छोटे बच्चे होते हैं सो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स नेक्स्ट इज सेंस एंड रिस्पॉन्ड दे रिस्पॉन्ड एंड दे सेंस एंड रिस्पॉन्ड टू देयर सराउंडिंग्स कोई खतरा होता है तब भी uh, ये uh, जो है अपनी सराउंडिंग uh, के हिसाब से जो है उसको रिस्पॉन्ड करते हैं प्लांट्स भी और एनिमल्स भी यानी कि दिस इज अ टच मी नॉट प्लांट अगर आप इसको टच करेंगे तो सी हाउ द लीज आर क्लोजिंग इन नजर आ रहा है आपको उसको फिंगर टच की जा रही है तो आप देखें कि कैसे जो है वो लीव्स जो है दे क्लोज इन so this is a mimosa plant or it is also called touch me not plant so animals and plants both respond to their uh, uh, surroundings so my dear students these are the different characteristics last one is excretion yani ki dono mein hi excretion hoti hai uh, sweating ke through bhi hoti hai aur urination ke through bhi animals mein excretion hoti hai whereas in plants excretion jo hai wo evaporation ke through hoti hai yani ki inke water loss hota hai and that is excretion in plants So my dear students uh, these are the different characteristics of both plants and animals now let's move forward towards the evaluation quickly listen to the questions and then answer them orally so what are the characteristics of plants and animal movement growth feeding respiration excretion sense and respond so these are the different characteristics of plants and animals and which uh, Uh, due to which we can say that both are living things okay my dear students now is the time for practice for practice you can download this worksheet from the description box below this video or you can get it in print form by your teacher so my dear students characteristics of living things you will write down your name and your roll number then write the name of the each characteristics accordingly so yahan pe aapko different characteristics nazar aa rahi hai pictorial form mein to aapko unke name likhne hai let me do the first one for you this is feeding next one is growth then third one is sense and respond then next is movement and last one is excretion okay and list all the characteristics of animals and plants or last mein aapko jo question hai usme tamam jo characteristics hai unko ek dafa note down karna hai name karna hai okay my dear students very easy pause the video and complete this worksheet i hope everybody has done it now we will move forward towards the homework So, my dear students, for homework you will do question number one from section B uh, on page number twenty-three. So, this is your homework, and now let's move forward towards the wrap-up. So, in today's lecture, we have learned that plants and animals have different characteristics of life. They can move, they can grow, they can breathe, they need energy, so they eat 
or they make food they can reproduce both respond to the stimuli sense and respond and both excrete their waste that, that is called excretion so my dear students i hope you have enjoyed today's lecture keep everybody around you safe have a good day thank you so much and allah hafiz